Welcome back guys to Savvy Charmed Life. If you're new here, I'm Tracy, and today we have a huge haul. Stickers and iPad accessories. My perfect date starts in a small cafe. There's hearts everywhere cause it's Valentine's Day. We order up waffles to share them. Okay, so we have a haul from three sticker shops. Um, we have, I believe, Cricut Paper Co. Um, Pepper Cut, which is Julianne Doodles. Uh, if you watch Julianne Doodles' YouTube channel, which I will link below, um, her shop. And then we also have a Kina Prince Co. Um, order as well. And then in addition to that, I have a bunch of Amazon items that I bought for my iPad using Christmas gift card money. So these two were after Christmas sales. And this Kina Prince order is actually a Black Friday sale order that I just got in the mail. Um, but it is coming from the Philippines, so it just takes longer to ship. So what I think we're going to do is probably jump in with the stickers first. And then we'll look at the iPad. iPads. And then we'll look at the iPad accessories. Okay, let's go. So first I'll start with the Kina Prince order. And one of the things I did order was this, like, canvas bag. It's not really canvas. It's, like definitely um you know uh, some sort of like vinyl or you know it's like slick um probably waterproof um definitely not canvas but it is like a reusable tote that you could probably fold up pretty easily and it is this really pretty uh hufflepuff girl themed uh bag uh, it's the yellow, it's got the girl with the dark hair and the yellow bow, and she's in her Hogwarts uni uniform, and then you have, like, kind of, like, a broom, some glasses, a sorting hat, a letter, a quill, um, just some other things. She actually has washi tape that goes with each of these, and I actually forgot to grab my washi tape. I'm going to show you guys some washi tape, too. But, yeah, so the washi tape, um, that I actually already had, the Hufflepuff washi tape, actually matches this, but I did get some additional Harry Potter themed washies as well. But this is the bag that I got. And then we'll go ahead and look at the stickers and then I will go grab the washi tapes. So I did get some die cuts and I can't remember if these were freebies or if these were die cuts I actually ordered. I'm pretty sure these were freebies. So you have this one that's just like a little girl sticking out of a stocking. I'm pretty sure these are also stickers. They're die cuts and stickers. A little girl pushing a snowball. I actually have a bunch of the mini ones of this, a little of the girl like planning or working at a desk, super cute. Um, and then I think this was the little sampler freebie. Um, so it just has like an angry girl, a shopping girl, a girl in a coffee cup, doing work, emotionally drained, feeling that lately, um, getting happy mail, money, money, money. Um, uh, I'm not sure, maybe she's reading in this one. Um, but yeah, so just a little sampler. And then these were the little mini stickers that I got. So I got the coffee break one. I got this shopping day happy girl. So in each of these sticker kits, you get two larger ones and then several smaller ones. And these are usually only about a dollar per sheet. I have a very uh, whiny dog over here begging for treats. Uh, popcorn movie watching girl. Ooh, if I can do it. Happy mail girl. Workout girl. Um, a girl with glasses, planning, love it. A little travel girl with like her suitcases or suitcase. <laughs> and I got two of the travel ones. And then these swimming girl stickers, which I won't be able to use till the summer, but I can't wait. And then I got this like vintage um, kind of stickers. You have like an analog clock, like a rotary phone, a keyboard, a camera, a couple of cameras, and like a map. So just some like fun vintage stickers. All right, now I'm gonna grab the washi tapes that I got. 
So these are all of the washi tapes that I got and I will do like a little swatch for you guys on this blank card that she sent. So I got the uh, Slytherin one, a smaller Hufflepuff kind of one, um, and then, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be kind of Hufflepuff themed. And then I got a thicker of the Ravenclaw. I basically got what was available. Um, they did have like a 15 millimeter and a 10 millimeter of like all of the Hogwarts houses, but not all of them were available. Some of them were sold out. So I got the ones that I could get. I apologize for the siren. We'll kind of pause the video for a second. Negative, one of the negatives, I guess, of living in the city is that you have to deal with things like sirens. If I can get this one open, this one doesn't want to tear open for me. Welcome back after all of that work. Okay, so I got the, the 15 millimeter of the Ravenclaw um, washi. There we go. Finally. Okay, there we go. That was a lot of work. Okay. All right. So there's the Ravenclaw one. And then this is the mini of the Slytherin which is going a different direction, but that's okay. And then the 10 of the Hufflepuff. All right, and then there's just this black one that's like stars and rabbits and everything, but it's just black. That might just be like generic magic. <laughs> so we have Ravenclaw, and then I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like the, the smaller roll of the Slytherin and the Hufflepuff, and then here's just like a black one that kind of matches. So those are the washi tapes that I got from Kina Prince. All right, now we will open our order from Cricut Paper Co. And like I said, this was a after Christmas sale. All right, so we got ourselves a journaling card that just says read more books and the thank you on the back. All right, and then we also have some die cuts that I got. Um, I won't be able to use um, either of these till next Christmas, but I just thought they were super cute. So they're like little coffee cups. This one's just Christmas themed, um, but you have like different versions of coffee and hot cocoa and things. And then this one is like Disney movie themed, or am I, actually I think it's all elf themed. Yeah, it's all elf themed. So you have like the Etch-a-Sketch and here he is just like fallen into the mug. And then you have like the little snow globe of New York City, super fun. Um, so this one is all elf themed. Um, elf is one of our Christmas traditions. I just thought those die cuts were super cute, which I will be able to use next Christmas. And then I got several kits um, that I thought were super fun. So I got all of the ones, I'm pretty sure the ones that I got are the like mini kits. Yeah, I got mini kits. Um, and then I also got um, some of the retired kits and then she also had full kits for like $10, but I'm pretty sure I got mini kits because I don't need the full kits. Um, this mini kit is Care Bears themed, which I'm absolutely in love with. I loved Care Bears in the 80s when I was a little girl. Um, so absolutely in love with this Care Bears kit. And then I got this one, which is Harry Potter themed. 
always need a good Harry Potter kit to use in July and September. Um, so you have like a snitch, save Dobby with some snot, snocks, <laughs> save Dobby with some socks, um, a mug, like a scarf and a, a time turner and some glasses, nine and three quarters clock, like a little plant, um, some pillows. So it's almost like a Harry Potter decorated house. Like if you were like a huge Harry Potter fan, like these are the things that you would have in your house basically. Okay, let's see. Like I said, I can't remember what I got. So is this one of the full kits? I think this is one of the full kits that I got. Um, so this one is 90s themed, which I love. So we have some cassettes that say Forrest Gump, The Lion King, Titanic on it. We have a troll doll, a uh, hubba bubba bubble gum. Um, I never used one of these, but this is that, uh, oh, what were they called? It was that little pet thing that like you had like on a keychain, like on your book bag or whatever. And then you like had to take care of it and feed it and stuff and take care of it. Something pet, I can't remember. A rollerblade, some cassettes of Backstreet Boys and Spice Girls, a uh, ring pop, um, like just a decorative pen, and then a Game Boy. Um, I was born in 81, so I was like a true child of the 80s and a preteen and teenager of the 90s and graduated from high school in 99. So the 80s and 90s are very, well, extremely nostalgic, obviously, for me. So I love this 90s kit. And then like I said, the Care Bear one is especially very 80s for me. <laughs> All right. And then the next one is the Teacher Life one that I got. And this one I just got in the vertical. Um, I thought this would be great to use in August when we return to school. So Teacher Fuel has a little chalkboard with an apple, A plus, uh, backpack or new teacher bag, a stack of books, a camera, um, like an outfit it looks like, maybe some paint and a, and a globe. So just kind of generically teacher, um, but fun, bright, happy colors to get you excited to actually go back to school. Um, we finish with school by late uh, Memorial Day. Usually have a couple of post planning days after Memorial Day in May. And then we return to school as teachers the last week of July. And you do not want to go back. Like, you were like, no, it is too early. Summer is not over. Don't make me. All right, this kit is a Coraline kit, which I just fell in love with when I saw it. We love Coraline. Um, so, got the buttons here. Here's the house. The cake. Um... The, the the bad guy, you know, sewing on the buttons, the a dragonfly, the Coraline doll, one of the pumpkins from the Garden Pink Palace Apartments. And I just love the colors. Like, I love these stars and just, like, kind of, like, gives you the cotton candy vibes and everything. Um, so, absolutely love that kit. I love the colors. And then the last, I think these were all the $10 full kits that I got. And then the last one I got was this $10 kit, which is um, Corpse Bride. Um, I thought I could use these for Halloween next year. So anything Corpse Bride, love it. Got some books, a candle, the piano, the Corpse Bride herself. Um, is it Max? Is that the name of the dog? I'm trying to remember. But his dog, um, or is Max the name of the dog? Max is the dog in Nightmare Before Christmas. What's the name of the dog in Corpse Bride? I can't remember. Um, a butterfly, the roses, the cup, and like the um, Emily and the main guy. Um, no, she's Emily. She's, but she's played by Emily. I'm like totally confusing myself. But if y'all know the movie, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, but love the colors too. But yeah, I thought I could use the Coraline one and the Corpse Bride one at Halloween next year. So I already have several kits ready to go when that time of year comes back around. Um, and I got all of these during the after Christmas sale. All right, now we're going to open our Julianne Doodles. 
I could kick myself because I actually got these when I was watching one of her setup videos and realized that she made stickers and I like jumped off of the video that I was watching and went to order this and then like placed the order right away because I was like so excited about it and then went back and finished the video and realized like halfway through the video she gave a discount code. It wasn't in the description box. It was just on the screen in the video. If I had only finished the video first, then went and ordered, I would have been able to use a discount code. I didn't. Um, but very cute wrapping. It's in this like tissue paper, uh, fun tissue paper with a little sticker that says, you're the best on it. And I saw her using this to set up her bullet journal for January. I just thought it was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. So I was so excited. So here's some just little die cuts. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't order these. I think these are just freebies. Like a little bunny rabbit throwing money in the air. <laughs> um, here's some like, um, they look like lanterns to me. A little hat, winter hat. And I did get these die cuts because y'all know how much I love Studio Ghibli and I just thought they were so cute. So this is some soot sprites and like a bowl of like cereal or porridge or something and then here's like one of the the I think this is one of the mini Totoro's but super super cute all right and then here's like a little thank you card and then this is a little freebie and then these are the reasons that I made the order I mean look at these penguins are they not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? I am in love and I'm ready to use them. I mean, look at that guy. He's fishing, building a snowman, skiing. So, so cute on a sled. Another skiing one, another skiing one. Making, ooh, making a snow um, angel. Super cute. So I fell in love with these penguins and that is the reason I placed this order, guys. Um, and then while I was at it, I went ahead and ordered some others. So this one is like little uh, like playlist drawings that I just thought were super pretty. And I thought that maybe in a future installment, I could decorate my like what I'm watching and listening to and all that fun stuff page with one of those. Um, and then I got the My Neighbor Totoro kit. So, in love with these stickers. Is he not the cutest thing you ever saw? I love My Neighbor Totoro. I think you guys have heard me talk about it before, but I'm like in love with that movie. So, the big reasons for, I went on her website to order this, but then when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I have to get that. So, I was so excited. Um, so, I'm going to keep these out because I may be using those later. But yeah, in love with my sticker kits from her store is called Pepper Cut, but it's Julianne Doodles if y'all follow her YouTube channel. And I will, of course, link it below. So, in love with all of my stickers. I'm going to put all of this away and then we are going to open my new iPad accessories. Okay, so y'all know that I am a teacher, and I am an itinerant teacher, so I travel for my job. So, I do have a laptop that my, um, the company that I work for, the school district that I work for, gives me. Um, but I don't like carrying it around with me. I leave my laptop in a designated location. Um, that is kind of like my, like, mini office setup. Um, and then, and I connect it to all the software and, like, the braille embosser and like so I basically use it for when I'm producing braille for my braille student um but on the go it's I'm like ride or die with my iPad like this iPad goes with me everywhere I take it to IEP meetings like I'm using it for on the go planning like every other school that I go to so what I wanted was some tools to use on the go where I could set up my iPad like a computer and actually work on like IEP document drafts or reports that I'm writing or so I could actually have like an office set up like even if I'm like in a random cafeteria or a teacher workroom or you know some random classroom like I can set up a little mini office somewhere where I am so like a little mobile computer setup um so 
I got some fun Bluetooth accessories. So first, what I'm most excited about is this keyboard. So I'm gonna open it. I'm actually thinking though, after seeing the size, I already have a Bluetooth keyboard at my office office and I'm considering switching this out for the other keyboard since this one's a little bit bigger and then using my other Bluetooth keyboard as my on-the-go keyboard, but I can't decide because I love this one, but it is a little big for a mobile office keyboard. But let's open this guy up. All right, hopefully y'all can see all of this like well enough. So I got the Yunzi Y-U-N-Z-I-I Retro Keyboard. And there were really good reviews for this keyboard. So it took me forever to decide what keyboard to get. So I finally decided on this one. It's nice and big and it just, it feels really good. Um, I think there are batteries in here. So we can work on and it also comes with this red escape key as well. But I don't think I'm going to replace it because um, I feel like it would kind of ruin like the, the you know, aesthetics <laughs> of the keyboard by putting a red key there. But it does come with this extra red escape key. But we're going to put the batteries in this guy. And in a little while, we will connect it once we get all the other accessories out and just kind of do a little, a little test. All right. Both of my Bluetooth keyboards are not rechargeable. They're just battery powered. So I'm definitely gonna make sure I start carrying on with me. Um, oh, and it has this. You can prop it up. That's cool. Right. Oh, that's what that is. I was wondering. <laughs> so, the little fake keyboard um, rollers are to put the, the little thing up and down. Um, and it also has this little spot to put your keyboard in. Um, but in a second, we will connect this and get it going. I'm assuming it probably connects in a similar way to my other Bluetooth keyboard, but we will find that out later. Okay, so now I'm going to open the mouse, and based on the color online, it looked like it was going to be mint green, just like my case and my keyboard. So hopefully, the color is accurate. I will say... It's not as, it's not the same color I expected it to be, but it is, um, yeah, it's not quite, I mean, it's okay, but it's not the color I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be lighter in color. Here's the on switch. Is it, okay, this one is an actual, like, little charger that you would plug into, like, your computer or the walls. I will have to make sure I charge this one with the little charger cord that comes with it. All right, so we will test this out in a second too and make sure it connects via Bluetooth. Like I said, it's unfortunately not the color I was expecting it to be, but I'll survive. I also got this guy and I accidentally ordered two of these, so they're both going back. But sadly, I was expecting it to be bigger because I wanted to store my um, keyboard in it. And I don't even think, like I was planning on putting my keyboard in this bottom half, but I don't even think my smaller keyboard would fit in here. Um, but yeah, so the plan originally was for this to go in here. Ha ha, yeah, definitely not happening. Um, but I don't, like I said, I don't even think my smaller keyboard will fit. But the idea of this is to be kind of like a, 
storage for your iPad. Sorry, I had a mishap. It's to be like storage for your iPad. And then you have these little things so that you can like, you know, set up the organization however you choose. And if they've got Velcro on them so you can make as many small sections, you know, as you want. And then your iPad, I think, is supposed to go right here. But even my iPad, which is a regular size iPad, not a big iPad, does not really fit. Like, this does not fit. Um, so, unless you have, like, an iPad mini, like, I don't know how, like, I feel like there was misadvertising for this. Um, it is not the size that it appeared, which I will show you some screenshots of what it looked like online. Sorry, I keep hitting my camera stand. I apologize. Um, and then on the top part, it has this section, so you can, you know, there's like a zipper mesh pocket, these kinds of things, and then it's got little pockets here. So it's to store like all of your like cords and all those types of things. But like I said, even my standard 10 inch size um, iPad Air does not want to fit in this. Let's see, I'm gonna be changing the case in a second. So just for fun, Let's see if my iPad will fit in this without the case. Like, does that make a difference? Let's see. Okay, yeah, so it does fit without a case, but who's not gonna have a case? I mean, I know the idea is that this is the case, but it's not super padded. Like, I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving my iPad just sitting in that sleeve like I'm probably gonna like wipe this this guy off make sure he's nice and clean before I put the new case on but yeah so this is not as it was advertised um not as big as I was expecting and like I said for some reason I got two of these so I'm gonna be returning both of them and getting a different case but I will link it still link it below in case you're curious Maybe if you have a smaller iPad or you need a storage case, but this is not what I was expecting. So this one is definitely going back to Amazon. And I will have $40 to find other tools and accessories. I'm also considering getting an Apple Pencil like grip or cover for my Apple Pencil. So that's also a possibility that we'll have to see. All right, so once I get all this put away, we will move on to my new iPad case. Okay, and last but not least is my new iPad case. I've never used this brand of case before. I've always go, gone with either spec for my iPad cases or, um, and what brand is this one? Fenty the last few ones I've gotten. So this one that I had before was called Fenty. Is a magnetic case, but I needed a new one because one, it's just kind of falling apart. And two, the magnetic case isn't working anymore. And it wasn't um, keeping, like it's supposed to put your iPad asleep when it closes and it wasn't doing it. And my iPad was draining power like in my bag or just sitting on the table or whatever. All right, so. This one is like a little bit darker. I mean, I guess they're all like coordinating a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I need to take off this on both sides. Ooh. But this one has this like clear, um, and my idea is that I might put stickers on this clear. Part right here. Um, but yeah, let's see. And this one is supposed to have a spot for your Apple Pencil to charge. So we'll see how that goes. Because my old one was um, didn't charge. Uh, 
when it was in the spot. Like the, um, it actually like where you stored your pencil, it didn't have a spot where it charged. So it charged, charged on this side, but this is where you stored the pencil. So sometimes I would grab my pencil and it wouldn't be like ready to go, like ready to be used. So yeah, so it's supposed to stay, so like right now my pencil is at zero. Um, how do you get it out though? Oh, right here, okay, I was like, it's so like, okay, there we go. All right, so that's cool. All right, and then, okay, so, Doing it off screen. So this one it has like a little spot right here where your on off switch goes. And then this is volume. So it looks like it like has like a thing inside that like reaches for this part right here. Like I said, uh, the Apple Pencil, like you push right here to get it out, it looks like. And the Apple Pencil stays charged in the case, which I think I prefer, and I'm very, very excited about that. Um, it's a magnetic closure, so it's supposed to like, you know, turn it off. So like if it was on, when I shut it, then I would shut it, Poe, get out of that, then it would put it to sleep, as you can see. So hopefully this works, and then this is what the back looks like. Looks like there's a hair <laughs> and like some lint and stuff got stuck in it. So I'm definitely going to be fixing that. But yeah, I thought maybe I could put like a couple of stickers. I mean, we could always put Totoro there. Decide like which direction I wanna put it, but I definitely need to fix the hairs cause that is gonna drive me insane. I cleaned this guy off. I don't know how I got hair so big. If y'all have pets, tell me if y'all get it. How easily hairs get just like on everything, like all the time. Like, are you like me? Do you understand? So, I use the sanitizing wipe. I think I'm gonna use like a little napkin to get any stray bits that might be in between. Hopefully this time when it goes in, I don't get anything underneath it. Okay, how's that look? Okay, that looks pretty good, good, okay. All right, yeah, I think I'm loving this so far. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to set up the keyboard, 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 and make sure that it is working out. I also like how thin this case is because my idea was that I could prop it still. And yes, yes. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it props right here into the screen. I'm gonna try to set up my camera and pause it and see if I can set it up so y'all can see this at a better angle. All right, we're gonna try this angle and see how it goes. All right, first let me turn my iPad back on and I'm gonna go to settings and Bluetooth. And we are going to try to connect our new, I'm also gonna try to connect the mouse as well, okay? So, as you can see, it's connected to the Ubati one before. Um, let's see, Android TV, no? All right, let's see, oh. Actually, you know what, I should probably look at the guide. It'll probably tell me how to connect. All right, let's see. So I already inserted the batteries, how to connect Bluetooth. 
up to three multi-pairing. Press FN plus one and then press FN plus K to enter pairing code. All right, so FN one. FN plus one and then press FN plus K. It's supposed to show up as Acto keyboard. And then FN K. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Acto keyboard. Six, seven, seven, one, enter. Okay, all right, what about the mouse? Probably this little button right here. I'm not even gonna look at the, there it is. BT 5.1 mouse pair. And now, as you can see, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but there is a mouse on the screen. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pause and get into a blank Google Doc. Okay, so I couldn't find anything in settings about mouse, so I'm going to have to do some research to see if there are any settings that you can change and how to use a mouse, like how to make the, I you know, the, um, the arrow look different, um, that sort of thing. But just for fun, I'm gonna do like a little typing test and y'all can see uh, how the keyboard sounds a little bit more. So it does let me scroll this way. Well, it made me sign up to see. Oh, okay. 73 words per minute, 95% accuracy. <laughs> and yeah, pretty good. But yeah, so y'all saw how the um, typing works on the keyboard and how um, the keyboard itself sounds. The keyboard itself sounds. I absolutely love the aesthetics of this keyboard. It paired super easily. And yeah, um, my iPad will prop in it really, really well. So like I said, I just need to find a case that I can easily carry this in where it won't be too like heavy or bulky. I know I'm looking for a new work bag too um, that will, because my current roller bag, aside from just not being as functional as I would like it to be, because it's just like, one big open space um it's also breaking down on me like the wheels are getting stuck a lot um and it's making weird clicking noises and my husband told me just to get it fixed but i actually think i might just donate it and get a new work bag but um if i ever get to that point um maybe i will film that for you guys and let you know um how that goes so y'all can let me know as well if y'all know any specific iPad um, accessories or um, cases for a iPad keyboard that you recommend, let me know in the comment section below. And if you love this particular video, if you love just like hauls in general, definitely let me know as well. Uh, and let me know like what your favorite part of this haul was. Were you here for the stickers or were you really into the keyboard? 
the iPad accessories today. And if you like this particular video, just like I typed to you guys in a message, please hit that like button. And if you would like to see more stationary related videos, more just my life in general, I also do like clothing hauls, um, travel vlogs, all sorts of fun things here. So if you think any of that sounds interesting, then please hit that subscribe button. I would love to welcome you back. All right, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. My whole life Afternoon sun starts to peek through the clouds We take the back streets to avoid the crowds Balls over sidewalks and twirl in the breeze She'll catch me if